Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a sugar scrub and the base for the sugar scrub is a foaming bath butter. This is how it's called. It comes in a, in a bucket like this. It's from Stevenson and it's called OPC. It is a soap that is quite soft so you can whip it up. So that's what we're going to be using for our sugar scrub today. And we need 500 grams. I'm gonna leave the recipe down in the description box below, also in ounces for those who use the imperial system. So that should be about the half of it. I'm gonna just cut it in smaller pieces so it's easier to whip. And this sugar scrub is actually cool because it's not just a scrub or an exfoliation, but it is soap at the same time, so it's cleansing and it contains shea butter, which is very, very nourishing for your skin. So after this treatment, you could say, you don't need to put cream or a lotion on your body anymore. Ow. almost there that's 500 grams and now what I'm gonna do I'm going to be adding the shea butter so shea butter you have different types of this one is refined this is how it comes and we're not gonna need that much we just need 50 grams but that's just enough for the skin to, to be really nourished inside this soap base shall we say So that's all what we need. And now, I'm going to take our mixer. So this is the mixer we're gonna be using. It's a mixer that has very sturdy whisks. And that's very important because you want to make sure that it doesn't break. I mean, it's not like rock hard, but anyways, you, you really want to have uh, uh, strong enough, shall I say, whisks to get through this, uh, this consistency here. So I'm just gonna mix and you will see that the amount is increasing. I'm gonna put on low volume because it's really loud.
you incorporate everything so you want to just mix in and make sure that on the bottom everything is really incorporated before you stop mixing Alright, so you can see the consistency is really nice and fluffy. Okay, so I'm just gonna save a little bit for for later. You will see why. I'm just gonna put a little bit in here in a piping bag I've already pre prepared. Okay, so now we have this. Now to this mixture we are going to add the fragrance and this is espresso fragrance oil from brambleberry it's a fantastic coffee fragrance and I'm gonna be adding 10 grams it smells really like a fresh brewed coffee so we're gonna mix this a little bit more mixture we're gonna add the sugar and for this specific recipe or this specific kind of sugar scrub we're gonna be using brown sugar and the reason why I use brown sugar is because adding this type of sugar we don't need to put any colorant because we want it to look like a like a coffee kind of treat yeah? organic brown sugar and because it is a coffee straw we're gonna add a little bit of coffee grounds just to tint it maybe 20 30 grams we don't need any more than this Alright, now we are ready to mix. So I have found the best thing, the way, best way to go is to fold in the sugar first. Make sure that it really mixes in well the entire mixture. You really want to go in. Coffee is really good for the skin 
it um, makes the skin feel more, I don't know how to say, it has a kind of a rejuvenating effect. Some even say it may reduce cellulitis or the appearance of cellulitis. I really don't know about that, I have to say. There are still some sugar. Some sugar is not mixed in yet very well. We really want to continue make sure that everything is really nice. And the mixture is even. It's very important for a nice scrub feeling. And also one important thing I want to mention at this point here. When you're making such projects, make sure you just sanitize all your tools. That's important because you don't want anything to get into this mixture here. It smells amazing by the way. The coffee and the coffee fragrance and this soap here. Really amazing. So what I like to do at the end is just give it a quick mix again with the stick blender. that will be it we are ready to put it into the jars okay so I got these containers from Amazon just recently and essentially it is like a Starbucks kind of drink container thought that I would like to try something new so let's see how we're going to do Placing the cups here on this tray. So the mixture is ready. So let's see how we can transfer this to the plastic jars. This is, I think it's amazing for a gift for someone, you know, where you can use it yourself. And of course you can put it also in different kind of containers. This is just one, one idea, one possibility that I thought was really cool to change up things a little bit and make it a bit different than the usual. like to try out new things.
going to correct the edges here just to make this look appealing. So now let's see if we can pipe a little bit on top. Remember I have a little bit of left over butter. And I don't know if I can really squeeze it out, but let's see. Alright, so we have a dollop in the middle and then what I did is with a, a mold like this I made some small coffee beans and now I'm going to place them on top of this cream just to make it a little bit more decorated. This is just melt and pour, colored with um, mica, <clears throat> just regular colorant for cosmetic. So I can remove my gloves because I want to show you what I prepared for, for the label. So this is going to add the lid. It's really cute. This is how it looks. I think it's really cute. So let's see the labels now. So I tried something, I made some stickers with some vintage coffee labels. I thought it would be a good idea to try to put these onto these um, scrubs here. So let's see how this would look. What do you think? Not bad, isn't it? And then of course you can choose whatever you like. You can put the person's name. Here they are, the coffee scrub, sugar scrub. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you around very soon for another one. Bye bye.